it's me Reagan. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my first sailing vlog. I've been wanting to learn how to sail for a long time now, um, but I'm just now getting around to it. I'm in St. Augustine doing classes. I'm doing ASA 101, 103, and 104. Um, I just checked into my Airbnb doing some light studying and classes start tomorrow at 8. So I want to film this to show you guys what classes are like, but also when I eventually get my boat that I want to live on, I will film more regularly because that'll be a little bit more interesting, but I'll keep you posted. All right, so I'm at the marina. I just got done with my first day of classes. We started out, we learned mainly docking um, and like different parts of the boat and then we took a lunch break and then we went out and actually sailed. We covered tacking, jiving, how to heave to, man overboard drills and that's pretty much it. And then we're taking the test tomorrow morning, like first thing when we get here. And then after that, we'll get on our bigger boat. We were on a little 22 foot boat, um, very, very simple. More simple than the one that I was on when I like practiced sailing at the lake near my house. So I just got back from sailing day two. I didn't get to film really I, or take pictures. I took one picture afterwards. But basically I took my test, passed with a 98. Um, it was all multiple choice, super easy. Um, I just mixed up the luff and the leech of a sail and then we took a lunch break, went out into the ocean and I got so seasick. Um, the waves were like four foot waves um, and then there's like a pretty bad current um, and it just went downhill really quick. But then we went in um, to the like intercoastal waterway and we just practiced like tacking and jiving um with winches single-handed on a 33 foot boat and it was super fun after I like kind of got over my bout of seasickness but that was pretty much it and then we just went in whenever it was in the text and we're going back out tomorrow probably staying in the intercoastal um the weather is supposed to be a little rough tomorrow so Intercoastal is our best bet, so I don't have another episode and I can keep my lunch. So last thing you saw, we were prepping the boat to go out right after lunch. So we took the boat out and uh, there were four foot waves and pretty bad current and you guessed it, your girl got seasick. Um, it was not fun. Well, it was fun. Like I was enjoying it. Like it was fun. Like you basically like are surfing the waves. Like it's such a cool feeling, but not in my tummy. Uh, so we ended up going back in. It, he did say, like, the captain was like, yeah, like, the seas are pretty rough right now. So we turned around and went back to the intercoastal waterway, and we just did, like, our tacking and jiving drills there. Um, since we were on a bigger vessel, we had to use a winch. Um, so it was a little bit more complicated. Um, and, like, everything was way more spaced out. So you're like, running around trying to maneuver this like 33 foot boat. Super fun. More fun when I wasn't sick. See how this dream remain works. So it was day three today of classes. We were still doing 103 stuff, kind of easing into 104 stuff. Um, I'm studying for the 103 test. We have to take it tomorrow morning first thing. Um, what all did we do today? We had to prep the boat by ourselves. So our instructor like put sticky notes with like things wrong that we had to find and fix. And then we took the boat out, we planned, or we got out the navigation charts first. And we were like learning a little bit about navigation and we took a sail down the intercoastal. 
and we came across two bridges. One was a drawbridge, so we had to plan for the opening of that. Um, and I sailed through it, so that was really cool. Because that was like one thing that I was pretty nervous about, knowing that, you know, I'd probably live on the East Coast with my boat, at least for a while, is that, you know, just like planning for bridges and stuff, because there's a lot of that. Um, and then, yeah, and then we turned around, it started to pick up wind, we were getting like 20 knot gusts of wind, um, we had two reefs in our main, and the jib was not up, so we just had our main sail up, and then, um, we had our first, my first rainstorm, um, I got soaking wet, and then, we stopped, anchored, had lunch, went over anchoring, um, and then we did a little bit of racing, um, just like back and forth practicing tacking and driving on our own again, and then, um, then we had another little rainstorm, this time I went below, because I had just gotten dry from the last time, I did not have proper rain gear, and then we went in for the day and that was it um so yeah so tomorrow I have my exam and then on to the 104 stuff so just finished day four of sailing classes well, that's not, that's a lie. I finished, like, five hours ago. Um, so, I took my 103 test, and I passed with a 94. Um, the weather stuff really had me confused. Um, but, that's fine. Um, so, after that, we went out. We practiced tacking and driving again quick stop man overboard drills and we worked um just on like going through the stuff that's in the 104 book we have to take our exam for that in the morning and I'm like only halfway through the book so we'll see how that goes I'm kind of nervous about it um but yeah we had to use the emergency tiller very difficult not gonna lie um, it just takes a lot of, like, mechanical power from your body to do that. Um, and I am a little girl. So, um, yeah, that's about it. We're working on the exam tomorrow morning and then docking. And then we might go back out in the ocean. And that's it. I'll be done with sailing classes. Hello, I'm back again. So, as you can see, I was exhausted in the last clip, and that's because sailing takes a lot out of you, and especially like going back to my Airbnb and studying every night, I was just so, so tired. Um, so I'm back at home now, it's actually November, I took my classes in September, so it's been a couple months, um, but I figured I'd finish out this video. Um, so we went in on the fifth and final day, and we took our exam. I passed with an 89 for my last exam. I missed stupid questions that I shouldn't have missed. That, like, safety-wise, sailing-wise, weren't as big of a deal. Um, it was just, like, questions about, like, regattas and engine stuff. Well, engine stuff's important. But I'm trying to do an electric conversion when I finally get my sailboat. So, we'll see about that. Um... I figured it'd be easier than learning a bunch of different systems if I can nail electric and I've got it under control. Um, so anyways, it was a great experience. We went up back out on the ocean the final day and the non-drowsy Dramamine definitely worked because um, I did not get sick and we hove to um, like out on the open ocean. So, and it was pretty rough. So, highly recommend non-drowsy Dramamine. Um, and then... We practiced docking again, which still to this day is like the most nerve-wracking part because it's just, you can hit stuff and I don't like it, 
but it's something that I definitely need to practice and get better at, so I'm trying to coordinate with my local yacht club, um, so I can maybe, like, go and sail with a older man, um, but yeah, other than that, it was great. I busted my tire on the way out, so that was a little bit stressful, um, but as far as the classes went, they were awesome. I highly recommend St. Augustine Sailing School, um, and definitely the ASA classes. It was a wonderful experience, um, and I miss it a lot already still, so. Ozzy! So, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Nice and nice.